Um, can we go to a wizard? Yeah, but I'd love to. Okay. It's been a while. I okay. miss the wizard. Yeah, sure wizard, has. Bubby. Brian sent us in. It's how to celebrate the Ides of March. Ooh. Oh, um, yeah. How to celebrate. Mm. Fucking party and recognize in a ju- jubilant way. I don't need any help knowing how to party. Yeah, okay. Man. Well, mm. next sec next segment then, I guess. Mm. I need the help, Griffin, please. I'm party president. Help. March 15th is known as the Ides of March, which marks the day that Julius Caesar was assassinated in 44 BC. It's still, not an official. not forgotten. No, never will. A lot of things um, changed it, on the Ides of March. So much. Where would Where were you? I'll never Where forget. I like Julius Caesar turning. might be problematic now, guys. Let's be careful. I don't you know think? what he got no, into. Listen, you know, I separate the art like, from the artist. And I don't know if we like Julius Caesar He made a great salad. Uh, I just he figured out how to give birth without having to push it out of there. Uh, yeah. He did a lot of great <laughs> stuff. I feel like... He trained dogs, I think, if I remember yeah. correctly. He made this incredible orange milkshake yeah. for the malls. He's an incredible, He's an done incredible a lot of great man. Stuff, man. He, he made it, he made pizza, and then people were like, "Are you done?" And he turned around and he said, "Fuck off! I'm making a second <laughs> yeah. one. Pizza, yeah. pizza." Then Whoa! Yeah. yeah, he did all that stuff. Many history and literature enthusiasts celebrate it every year. You can throw your own Ides of March theme party, or simply enjoy the festivities by appreciating Roman culture, art, and history. Don't mind if I do. Are there I? There's Ides of every month, right? It's just the middle of the month. Well, except for February, huh? That'd be the 14th, which we celebrate as Valentine's Day. Except on a leap year. Then it's the 14th and a half. Not a day, and you know that better than anyone. Oh, so the 29th is a day, not just a made-up number? Right. Enjoying the Ides of March. Drink a glass of wine to honor Julius Caesar. I was already doing that. Yeah, come on, man. Isn't Uh, it a day that ends in Y? Ah. Yeah, then it's a day that ends in wine for me. If you don't like wine, you that's can make good. a bloody Caesar cocktail. Wait, hold cocktail. on, Griffin. Let that sink in for a second. It's the day that ends in wine. Someone's pulled up a, uh, a screenshot. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> Juice, why don't you tell the class what you shared in the visual space with the three of us <laughs> now? It's just a real picture of Julius Caesar, what he really looked like, and I thought you guys would be I love this shit. When it's like skin skin doctors and VFX artists and all kinds of people made a rendering of what Julius Caesar would look like if he was a real if he was a real guy <laughs> and it never looks awesome. No, he looks like um like a high school vice principal who maybe thought his life was going to go a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like young Bill Nighy who has been inflated like a balloon a little bit. Yeah. Which is cool. Um make him go away, please. Thank you. For a more authentic experience, you can mix your wine with a little bit of water, which is how the ancient Romans drank their wine. I'm already doing that. (laughs) Make a Caesar salad for lunch. Now, I'm not sure what the other, the name is the name. I don't think my man, I don't even know if back then they had the technology where this Roman man in 43 BC yeah. was like, bring me my favorite shit. That lettuce chopped up so clean. <laughs> Y'all know croutons though, right? Yeah. <laughs> give me some of that creamy, funky anchovy <laughs> dressing too. Yeah, Just you, to how I like give it. Give me one of you the least me- <laughs> salads of salad. The salad with the least vegetables on the it. The wettest one you got. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right, little toasty cubes of bread. It's awesome what he's done for us all. Act out Julius Caesar with a few of your friends. I've done that. I was in Julius Caesar. Yeah, I mean, I was in yeah, Julius Caesar. You were in it. Who did you play in Julius Caesar? I played Casca. Casca. The first stabber. <laughs> not the main role. Not a lot of lines, except speak hands for me, which is one of the cooler things that you can say good. when stabbing yeah. a guy. Uh, but he is the first one. And I feel like a lot of the tone of that stabbing was established by the first guy who did it. Everybody else was just going to kind of like politely stab. And if you Not don't me. come in, then go for it. Oh, we were just going to get told- his fingers. There had to be I at t- least one person in the crew that was like, I thought we were joking. I told the director, I should have more lines. <laughs> I said, give me, I said, Brutus, he's one of the last stabbers on that stage. I should, as the first one, I should get most of his lines, I feel like. Yeah, so what they, it- added, they added a lot of lines. And I remember most of it was like, 
yo, I don't know anything about Caesar, but if you guys are going to stab somebody, I'm in yeah. and I will be first. <laughs> I will be first and you all can be last, but whoever we're stabbed. And like in the scene, like right before Ed Two Brute, there's a scene they added where Casca is standing behind him like, is this the dude? Is him? <laughs> yeah. Is this the guy? <laughs> is this is him, Stab, this stab. Him? Stabby, stab, stab. Now? Some not now. Me. Not yet. Okay. All Some right. nights while we were doing the show, I would go in for a second dip. <laughs> now, Griffin, I remember <laughs> no one ever said night, anything. you walked up, you stabbed him 40 times yourself, and then turned yeah. around and said, I took care of that. Yeah. And then the second guy would come up and he stabbed, and then I walked up like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you got to go down with it. You can't go in. In and out, you go down and in. You got to do a ver. Just get everybody. Give me your knives. I did forty <laughs> knives all at once. Plan a trip to Rome to celebrate in Caesar City. Sure, I'll do that for March of the fifteenth. Absolutely. I guess if you're looking for an excuse. <laughs> um. Okay. Hosting a Knights of March party. Plan your party on March fifteenth. Yeah. <laughs> Ideally. Yeah. yeah. Decorate for the party using a white, red, and gold color scheme. Caesar's often depicted wearing a white toga with red accents and gold jewelry. Um. Also purple, purple is. And purple. It's a purple is another like popular color. We should have color. done something with March sixteenth. Oh, doesn't it feel like? Well, it's that's when he weird? came back from the dead. Uh, um, serve traditional Roman foods for dinner. Make a large platter with grapes. Cool figs. Uh -huh. Sure, cheeses. Yeah, sometimes and olives. No, in a million years. Okay. Never I mean, they can be there because they look like so Roman. Like it feels going to feel very. Authentic. It's better that they're there. It feels classier that they're Someone's there. Someone, yeah, but want they're. Them. Into the night, they're still gonna be there for dinner. Serve meat like lamb, beef, pork, or chicken in a light vegetable stock with cooked vegetables, which was a popular dinner for wealthy Romans. Soup. Cool. That's soup. soup. Make some soup. Make soup. Yeah. That was okay. another part in the Julius Caesar play that I added where I was in the background cooking up a big old cauldron of soup oh. in the background. And just like every scene would end with like clang, clang, clang. Soup's on, JC. That Let's go. That explains why you guys added, after you guys stabbed him, all the soup shot out from 40 different places <laughs> of his body. I understand. Yeah. I was so confused why that happened. He, was yeah. so, he ate all the soup and you guys were mad. Learning more about Roman history. Research yeah. the life and death of Julius Caesar. He was a guy, he did a lot. Of, he was H, He was HBIC, yep. and this badass dude named Costco was like, no fucking yeah, way. Get dude. out of here, man. And, <laughs> and iced that prick. So the, um, the person writing this article, so the idea is like, so what are you doing for the Ides of March? Like, oh, I don't know, I'm going back and forth. I might fly to Rome or make soup. <laughs> <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> Bunch yeah. of my friends are gonna pretend to murder one of my friends. Real, real, real bad. I might put a documentary on in the background. <laughs> do you think someone, do you think Casca asked him on the 14th, like, so what are you doing for Ides of March? <laughs> He's like, what on earth does I'm that mean? I'm just walking to work. What do you mean? <laughs> just, oh, just no reasons. What regular, path are you taking? Regular stuff. Hey, more, you don't have a lot of money on March Madness, but do you, Caesar? <laughs> no, why? Oh, good. it's just, I, I didn't want you to look forward to hey, it. Hey, hey, Casca, you took my ballot before I was done filling it out. Like, that's all you'll need. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be dope if the fucking soothsayer was like, beware the Ides of March and also Villanova to sweep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Cinderella. Okay, so Cinderella. Okay. Uh, there's this girl, right? And her dad. You know what? You don't need to worry about it. <laughs> you don't. You actually, of everyone here, you're, you're good. You're uh, good. 